Good day, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier set for smartwatch specs, news and reviews. We have here the GT20 Ultra smartwatch and there are already some queries whether this one works with the Android platform. Yes, it has support for the Android smartphone. Okay, so on this video, we are going to pair it with the support app, the Fit Pro application that is available also in ios platform so this video demo is for the android smartphone so we are going to install okay the application as you can see here we have the qr code it's also available in the support app or we can just search it directly on the google play store okay so if you have any questions regarding this smartwatch especially for the fit pro application okay the pairing the setup of the smartwatch just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if you do have the time okay so let's start let's continue okay so we have here our smartphone so no need to scan the qr code here if you if you want to download the app so the application is very popular you can just search it here on the Google Play Store. Fit Pro. But if you want, you can scan this one. Okay. To so go directly to the application. So just search. Just type Fit Pro. And we have here the application. So this is the logo of the app. And as you can see here, we do have over 50 million plus downloads. So let's stop on. Install and let's wait for the download and installation of the fit pro application available in ios and the android smartphone okay looks it looks like we do have a fast download of the app so let's just wait okay it will download and install the application here on our android smartphone and as you can see it's already installing Okay, so again, this is a step-by-step -step guide on how to pair your GT20 Ultra smartwatch on Fit Pro application on Android smartphone or Android, pla Android platform. Okay, again, this is for the Android smartphone. Okay, it's now installing. Let's wait. Okay, again, we do have here the QR code. Okay, so let's wait for the completion of the installation of the Fit Pro app. I guess it's done. So it's scanning. Okay, let's wait. Again, we have here 2.2.9. Okay, let's open the app. And then let's wait. Fit Pro. We have our first permission. Let's see. Okay, so we have here our first permission. Allow Fit Pro to access this device's location. So we'll allow it. Then any pop up? None. Let's go to the set. We have here on the bottom part, we have home, set, motion, and mine. Okay, home is where all the health features shows and of course your daily activity monitoring. For the motion, it is for the connected GPS and the sports function. And mine of course for the for the profile. So go to set. Okay, as you can see here, bind devices to experience more features. Tap on to bind your smartwatch. So let's wait. Okay, again, our smartwatch is branded as DT20 or GT20 Ultra Smartwatch. Okay, but the real brand or the model for this wearable is the Y13 smartwatch. You can check it here on the about section. As you can see here, we do have the Y13 and we have the same hexadecimal or mac address here not a hexadecimal but the mac address as you can see y139852 tap on the smartwatch 
and wait okay completed then committing let's wait completed completed and i guess we are now paired as you can see here okay let's try find and we have here this smartwatch okay so that's the setup okay for the wearable let's have the basic or the preliminary setup for the smartwatch again we are already paired but we still haven't okay completed the pairing so pair so this one is for the bluetooth call okay, okay it's normal that the smartwatch will ask for this one even though that we are already paired with the support app so select and pair okay that is for the bluetooth call for the message push notifications or the smart notifications we have here the message push tap on it then just agree for the permissions if the app will ask for it okay call reminder okay as you can see we are device disconnected let's go back again okay oops we are not paired okay i wonder what happened here okay let's remove it first then set again there are some issues just some minor issues i think bind devices again tap on y13 i don't know if this is just the first issue here i hope it will not be the main problem for the smart watch okay we do hope that it's stable okay it will have a stable connectivity with a fit pro application okay completed Let's see so i guess there's some conflict here let's remove first bluetooth watch audio as you can see here so this one let's unpair this first okay let's see let's go back let's uninstall this thing okay fit pro okay so i think we are now paired okay so there are some smart watches that still trying to pair with our smartphone so it it's uh, ha making a conflict or giving a conflict to other to our Y13 or to our G20 Ultra. Then tap on message push. Let's see. Okay, so we have here our first permission. Agree. Allow Fit Pro to access your contacts. Allow it. Allow Fit Pro to make and manage phone calls. And allow Fit Pro to access your phone call logs okay then let's activate the sms reminder another permission here agree allow fit pro to send and view sms messages and committing okay so let's activate some of the apps so we have here notification permission from the apps just select the application and okay enable it allow okay as you can see here our fit pro go back then you can activate it now okay line whatsapp application and i guess that's it okay go back so i guess we are done with the settings here preliminary settings especially for the push notifications okay so there's nothing to set anymore okay everything is okay and seems like we do have now a stable connectivity okay so that's it for the gt20 ultra smartwatch also known as the y13 smartwatch pairing with the
Fit Pro application on the Android platform. So if you have any questions regarding the pairing of the smartwatch, okay, with the support of Fit Pro, just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if you do have that time. Bye.